Welcome back to the classroom. Come on in. No late pass required. Today, we are reacting to the latest episode of Arcane titled The Boy Savior. I wonder who that could be referring to. Interesting. Well, when we last left off, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, we had a pretty intense episode with episode six specifically dealing a lot with um vi now being out of prison and silco not being happy that she's out of prison that she got broken out and it led to a culminating event with specifically silco tracking down vi and caitlin and attempting to uh remove her from the situation but they obviously escape and it then comes down to Jinx, aka formerly known as Powder, lighting the flare in one of the most epic scenes I have seen thus far in the show, which is saying a lot. Got all the chills and goosebumps from it. And just the absolutely tragic scene, just it, it's no longer powder in there. It is Jinx. And she is no longer the sister that Vi remembers. And so uh, no idea what's going to happen next. We know that uh, Vi was taken by the um, was it the fireflies? I, I keep on wanting to say fireflies, but firelights, that's what it was. Um, I keep on wanting to say fireflies. I'm thinking of uh, Last of Us, obviously. Um, but she was taken by them. Um, Caitlin managed to grab um, the gemstone that uh, Jinx had stolen. And so I'm really, I, I have no idea where this is going to go next. And so um, I have this feeling that the um, the boy savior might be referring to our um, to our buddy Jace, seeing as you know he's kind of been like the one who everybody's saying like super young and being super successful. So we'll see if I'm right. I'm, pr I'm probably not right. <laughs> so I am super excited to get into this. So uh, without further ado, let us jump right into the video. Ooh, ooh, starting off with some, ooh. Stop. Oh, we're getting getting some cool info about the firelights. Ooh. Yo, what up with this just banger music to start things off? Oh, and they're they're showing that like how they're trying to fight off Silco here. Oh. <laughs> I wonder who it is that they're actually referring to. Like who these people are. That was really cool uh, entrance. <laughs> that was really cool. Trusting you. Told you the truth. Bullshit. What was that glowing stone? That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> they're not quite trusting one another yet, but they're close at least. Ooh, cool perspective of Cool perspective here like within like the the burlap sacks there not being able to fully see anything just kind of some shapes oh he actually looks like a bat <laughs> body mods interesting who is this gonna be are we gonna know who it is it's a really cool helmet though <gasps> good for a dead girl. Oh shit! <laughs> Yo, it was freaking little man. Oh, he's not little anymore. Holy shit! What? I did not see that coming. Holy shit! <laughs> And there's there's the helmet as well, so dude's grown up as well. There was Caitlyn firing off there. 
Yeah, that might be Jace. I think we've gotten introduced to all of the characters that we've seen thus far here. At least that's what I'm seeing. Oh, geez. She's going to be wielding some powered up gauntlets, I'm sure, here. Echo? Echo. Keep on calling him little man, but Echo. Get down when you got covered in grease. Yeah, but he's not the same person either. People change. Yeah, I'm getting that. Are Everybody you did. Silco? So you just come out swinging? Uh, yeah, that Gee, might not. Who I learned that from. Oh, yeah, oh, that's fair. <laughs> more, you still punch like a little boy. And you still block with your face. <laughs> wow. I remember when you wouldn't stand up to me. Well, times have changed. He has changed. I miss you, oh. man. Oh. How long have you had those off? How long have you been whining? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Didn't expect to tear up at the beginning of this. Holy shit. Will it work on plants? You aren't here about the plants, are you? No, he never was. I know the look of a doomed man. Now for legacy are the sacrifices we make for progress. Yeah. Part of ways with Heimerdinger. Oh, so they, he used to be working with Heimerdinger. Jace will understand. Perhaps. I don't know if he will, if I'm being honest. Oh, is that Jace? Oh shit, he's ripped! <laughs> okay. Yo, Jace, Jace, buddy, you gotta chill. <laughs> yo, yo, my wife watches these videos. Chill, buddy. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh she go. Mama work is such a delicate art. find me. She head of the council. People notice where you go. She she's coming in and probably just enjoying the view. Has people agitated. He was my mentor, Mel. And I betrayed him. Oh yeah, he's bothered about Everything kicking him off the council. It's your time now, Jace. I love the way she looks at him. You can bring it's so cute. Just like you've always dreamed. Uh, never mind. Hey, we'll get through this. She is very supportive. I do like that. In the meantime, try not to lose your nuts. <laughs> I am such a child. I am such a child. <laughs> oh, but they're really cute. Holy shit, she's still alive? I honestly thought that she was dead and being hung up there. She'll come to you when she's ready. Her being supportive of Jinx is a new one. Did not expect that. Oh, she's still fractured as hell. That mirror is doing wonders for that. What is she doing to herself? Oh, jeez! She's stapling it together! Oh! oh. Caitlin. Uh, remembers the name. She worries me something fierce. I don't I don't even know what's gonna happen with her here. Where are they? Is that a real tree? Oh shit. Silco flooded the lanes with shimmer. Yeah. I don't care what it did to people. Everyone Lots of all the drugs. They needed somewhere safe to start again. Oh, that's incredible. You. All that's left is Jinx, and she belongs to. You're Silver. wrong. She's still in there. I can reach. Oh, Vi. I'm. I'm not entirely sure. Her. Her psyche is too fractured. You know who your sister used to be. I got one more thing to show you. 
Oh no. What is he's he's about to show like something in regards to like showing how truly gone she oh this the price of our freedom. Everyone we've Some lost. Forcers, most was Silco. I'm sorry, but that's who she is now. And it's hard to let go of that. Yeah, that is not the same girl. Not the same person at all. Oh, dear. Yeah. This isn't going well at all, either. What is he waiting for? Is he just sitting there helping with this? Not a problem, Counselor. I order a blockade and my own partner violates it. Oh. Ordered this? You didn't say they were from the Undercity. Oh. What does that make? What diff? He's getting a little elitist. I'm from the Undercity. All right, we'll keep at it. Well, he's not telling the full truth, but oh boy. I wonder if he realizes what he's doing is wrong, or if he's truly buying into this as much as he is. We aren't due for an assembly. Trying to overthrow. Better to have some trade than none at all. Oh, wonder what's happening here. Issue is temporary. How are you meant to bring Piltover to heal if you can't handle your own people? Huh? I'm uh, probably not the wisest person to tick off. Air so thick it clogged your throat. <laughs> Stuck in your eyes. Jeez. But I pulled you all up from the depths. What a Could stunt. Taste of top side. Trying to let, make them remember <laughs> purpose. where they came from. <laughs> One way to make a statement. But you've grown fat and compared where there was never enough to go round. Why is he not affected? Why is he not choking out? He's just used to it. Nope, gave it to himself. Wow. <laughs> One way to get your lackeys in line. Holy shit. Dude is absolutely brutal. Oh, the delayed, like, crack in the distance. It's always one of the coolest effects of something like that. Built over looks vulnerable. Oh, we know this was coming. Soon, Jace isn't ready. There's one other thing. And we knew this was coming. For you. Like, yeah, we, we knew that eventually word would spread that, like, things are not looking great. Was that from her family? Oh, that could be problematic. I thought they were hurting you. Vi tells me I can trust you. That Maybe voice that sounds familiar, That's too. It. Let's go. Is that voice actor and something I know of? It might, maybe. They're not all dead. Oh, yep. Don't move, silly. I might hurt you. Oh, jeez. Marcus never told me she was in Stillwater. Have you forgotten how she left you? Who found you? Who cared for you? Gave you a home? She's really lost it, but she's definitely somewhat more in control than Silco is. I need oh, maybe not. <laughs> now more than ever, you have to complete the weapon. What weapon? Oh my goodness. With this, someone with the right knowledge could build... Any hex tech device. If enforcers are becoming more aggressive, that's why. Yeah, that that would be the main reason. Oh no, this this is. For you to say. <sighs> so, dying all around you. People in the comments tell me about this. It's it's a nuclear deterrent. What's wrong? What's been done to you? This cycle of violence will never stop. This She's best talking some serious facts. Straight. This city needs healing. More than I ever realized. Wow. Let me help you. Even Vi is in on it too. I have a friend on the council. 
on condition. I'm the one who gives it to them. Oh, okay. Bring with. You mean they've turned it into a weapon? Well, do we know this for certain? We can't afford to wait to find out. Oh, boy. Wait. Preemptive strike. You want us to build weapons? Uh. Not. That is not why we invented Hextech. We would shatter any attempt at peace. Heimerdinger would not. Yeah. Heimerdinger's an action is what brought us here. You said so yourself. Yes, but at the same time, like, it's too, too much, too much action is not great either. That it's going to lead to more violence, more war. It's not going to make things better. They're just protecting their way of life. And Victor's not having anything of it. We may not have a choice. Uh oh. Explosive triggered. Maybe not. Oh. He got lucky. Jeez. That is always a choice. Yeah, he's basically saying like a time bomb can still be stopped. Jeez is in like an impossible situation here. Like I sympathize for him, but I know that like Unfortunately, I think he's a little misguided. His heart's in the wrong... S his his heart might be in the right place, but his head's not. Oh, jeez. Combine the two main pinnacles of technology here. Oh, what is about to happen here? This is... <laughs> not great. He's looking back in history here. Oh. A note. What could that note be, and where could it be from? We call them firelights. Never seen so firelights, yep. That would be where the name comes from, okay. Oh boy. We about to have a uh showdown. I'm worried I have to do something I never thought I would. Oh, well, I wasn't wrong about the hammer. Ooh. What's what's he doing? Oh jeez. Oh, is he gonna combine that blood? Do something a little different here? Oh it's gonna take too much of his blood? Oh jeez, what is it doing well? Oh, is it like permanently fusing him with it? Is it, uh, it might be permanently fusing him with it. And uh, now I'm worried <laughs> that that's not going to go over well. Somebody in a point of desperation. I mean, I don't, I don't blame him, but I don't know if it's going to be better on the other side here. I can't leave her again. You can't change her. I have to try. Oh, I thought maybe she knew that she was standing there, like up on the bridge. Been real, cupcake. Thanks for everything. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I want me. Oh. Always makes me nervous there. There's, there's definitely some feelings there. Oh, I really hope nothing bad happens here, but I know that it's going to. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, is Jinx going to go after them, maybe? What the hell is this? Yeah. Oh, geez. What else is being whispered? Oh, geez. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Oh man, that's creepy as hell. But that's the voice getting louder in her head like... No, don't kill her. Are you kidding me? Yo, with all the fire lights behind her. Ooh. Ooh, what are they doing? What are the... What are the firelights doing? Are they trying to stop? No. 
It's because they're mechanical. It's not an actual firelight. Oh! Oh dear, no! Oh my goodness, how many people did she just kill? Oh Jesus, she's still exploding! Stop! <laughs> no, stop! Too many explosions, what the hell? Did anyone survive that? Oh, thank goodness it didn't hit him. Oh, I don't know if I could take all those people dying all at once there. Jinx coming to get her reward. Yep, and there she is. Tell my daughter. Oh, well, you got your comeuppance there, buddy. She's just finishing them off. She's just walking through and just taking them out one at a time. Yep, so she came for the prize. Oh, irritated beyond belief. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Perception is not... Perception is not her reality. <gasps> Yo! Holy shit, this is a showdown. Ooh! And got the stuff. Jeez, is he gonna hold her off? Uh, she freaks me out now. Look who it is, the boy savior. No, that's the boy savior. Shit. Oh, that's the clock countdown that he had earlier. La uh, was it last episode or a couple episodes ago? No, it was a couple episodes ago. Uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, yo. Yo. Oh, we like the paintball gun. Oh, jeez, the back and forth. Uh, much different than it was before. This is beautiful drawing. Holy shit. Freaking music is epic, too. Oh, shit. And they're going to go in fast motion now. No, no, no. Uh, I swear, I swear if he didn't make it, I'm not gonna be okay. Did she even make it? Please, no, 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 come on. Uh, the boy savior, I freaking can't. There's a very real possibility that that was him dead there. The clock standing still in time. Ugh. So we just finished watching episode seven of Arcane titled The Boy Savior and wow, I did not <laughs> prepare myself to be emotionally ready for that. I, I <laughs> thankfully with a lot of you kind of prepping me for episode six, I was I, I was a little bit better for that one, but this one completely blindsided me. Like I did not expect to be as emotional as I was for the return of Echo, AKA little man as I always lovingly called him. 
Um, but a lot going on in this episode. Obviously, he was the main focal point, but this other storyline that we have kind of going on here is really involving what Jace ends up wanting to do. Like, is he going to like go to war with the Undercity? Is this going to be something where it escalates? And especially with him being so new on the council. And in all honesty, I think that, as, as I mentioned, his heart is in the right place, but it really is not his heart it's his head that is getting the better of him like he's trying to he's trying to do the right thing in all regards and it's just it's not working something has to change and he thinks that the only change might be to like tighten things up like tighten things um in terms of security at um at the bridge at the border between the two cities um but then Mel comes along and says even further, like, we need to start, like, stockpiling weapons. We need to start making Hextech weapons, which is not a good idea either, because obviously, like, the the Undercity has other weapons to use kind of against that. But in all honesty, I really do think that one side having magic and the other side more just having, like, augmentations and, like, weird sort of like put together technology, even if it is uh, Jinx putting it all together, uh, I I still don't see it necessarily uh, being able to one up freaking magic. Um, and so right now, obviously, like it's going back and forth between who is going to potentially possess that gem that um, Vi and Caitlyn are trying so desperately to return to jace to try to prevent further bloodshed further war further chaos and try to come to a peaceful resolution which is exactly what um victor wants as well like victor thinks it's absolutely insane that like jace is you know commanding like this army of enforcers to hold the bridge and don't let anybody through the trade doesn't happen none of it happens as long as he is um as long as things are the way that they are and uh it, it really does seem like you know victor and jace there there's this increasing rift between them because victor really feels like there is a peaceful resolution and jace thinks that it is beyond a doubt like not going to happen that way and uh, Mel thinks, obviously, it should go even further beyond that and that they should uh, potentially do a preemptive strike. And uh, that that also is not going to go well, obviously, because preemptive strikes never go well. Not that any sort of war goes well. Like, war doesn't have any victors. Nobody... <laughs> getting back to... Um, <laughs> getting back to what it was that Vander was saying, like, nobody wins in a war. Like, there are no winners, there are survivors. And uh, right now, they're tiptoeing dangerously close to exactly that. And Silco is not helping the situation. He's trying to utilize his connections with uh, Piltover. And it's ended up with some very corrupt officials and more bloodshed, more chaos. And it really isn't going to go well. And... So, obviously, we have that escalating as much as we did. But really, the main story is the return of Little Man with the, um, the Firelights. Being the leader of the Firelights, no doubt. Um, That was awesome seeing him return. He was definitely a favorite of mine in uh, the earlier episodes. And to see him now taking on more of a leader leadership role. More of this... Um, sort of grown-up role i i hate that like when it comes to the undercity unfortunately you grow up really fast um so many of these kids had to take up this mantle of responsibility that was left behind by the adults who unfortunately did not make it this far you know obviously vander being a big one um but then like benzo not making it either like all of this 
just leading to kids having to run the show and you know hats off to them for making it work but it's it's more tragic than anything uh, if if i really had to say because no kid should have to be put in that position having to navigate a potential war in the way that they have but obviously the enforcers aren't making it any easier because the enforcers are instigating it every every which way but really right now it's you know silco and his goons and the enforcers and the council in uh piltover versus each other and then these kids are caught in the middle of it and unfortunately the lines have started to become so blurred because there's people who want peace on both sides but there are many on either side that don't want it either they want something like the undercity to rise up to take over piltover and then piltover is looking weak to their allies and that's going to end up affecting them it's going to jumpstart their decision they're going to make rash decisions because they don't want to lose all of this potential um you know prosperity that has been brought to them by the hex gates and um, so that's where we kind of get into echo and little man here with him and vi reconnecting obviously like i <laughs> i i did not expect myself to cry at that point i i really did think that um i i don't know who was gonna be but that was not who i was expecting i mean i should have expected something similar because he obviously uh kind of vanished like earlier episodes and then hasn't reappeared since but it it was it, it was a nice it was a nice surprise for sure and the hug that him and Vi shared like there was so much emotion there like him like trying to blame her for so many things and like saying like how could i you know would i be able to actually trust you and her just like literally uh, just taking off the handcuffs and, and he's like well, how, how long have you had those off and and she's just like i wanted to let you finish and gives him a hug like oh just sob sob i wanted to just sob because that was such a powerful moment with the two of their characters and i do kind of like the fact that um caitlin is getting a little more trust here and um i i really do think that there is there's there's a little bit of feelings there between uh the two of them which i kind of hope they would be adorable together and at the same time like i'm worried that one of them is not going to make it out of this show i don't know who yet but i know that one of the, i just have this gut feeling this terrible feeling in the pit of my stomach especially with there only being two episodes left like they're, they've they've done too much to make the two of them cute together i <laughs> i don't trust this show anymore and so I know that my like happiness, their happiness is just going to get just squished real hard, real fast. And, uh, you know, with with all of this happening, we have um, Jinx confronting Silco about all of this and basically saying, like, you lied to me. How dare you freaking lie to me? Like Jinx, Jinx is so off the deep end and she is has such a fractured psyche that was mirrored perfectly pun maybe intended by the mirror that she broke by like throwing her weapon at it like she like <laughs> having that little baptism ceremony didn't do anything for her mental health like her mental health is in the shitter it is so down bad that like unless she gets like some actual help i'm not talking about her sister because her sister is this this is another reason why i don't have a lot of hope for the two of them making it through unfortunately vi is a trigger for her mental health her ptsd her um her her various ailments that she's dealing with um like all of the voices that she is hearing like of her dead friends like she really does like vi is not who she needs right now she needs actual qualified help 
But that's not something you get in the Undercity. That's not something that happens in this world. You don't get professional help, unfortunately, with their situation. And as such, um, Silco has to kind of talk his way out of it. And he does, but not without, um, not without Jinx going to try and fix the problem that she created. And so uh, we kind of get this like combination moment of them starting to cross the bridge while Victor decides to inject himself with some of the shimmer and uh, try to see if that combined with his blood will be able to do anything to help him and be able to actually unlock the abilities of this fancy new um, hex tech that they have. And I, I don't think it's going to go well. I think it's going to end up being used potentially as a weapon or it's going to cause some pretty bad ailments. Um, I, 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 I can't say for sure, though. Like, it really does seem like, as you guys have been telling me, like, these... This hex tech, a lot of these like gemstones, magic in general, is very similar to nuclear power. When in the right hands, can do some really powerful good, but in the wrong hands, it can be a disaster for everyone. As we have seen, like so many people fighting over it, so many people trying to use it to one up somebody or to uh, gain more power in a sense, and so like it's. I, I, it's not gonna go well like i know like i i really truly do like victor a lot i could never imagine going through what he is going through right now and he's at a point of desperation and so i totally get why he is doing this i just don't know if it's going to give him the solution that he is trying to go for and so that brings us to the final scene, which in all honesty, I'm I, I did not really shed a tear for Marcus dying. Like, I know that he was trying to protect his family by doing what it is that he was doing. But he put himself in that position in the first place. Like he was the reason why Grayson died. He is the reason for so many of these issues, so many of the uh, so much of this corruption is on his head and Jinx taking him out. I think that was well earned on his part. I really do think that he needed to be out of the picture. Um, now, it was kind of a messed up way that he went out, like the fact that like, <laughs> she it, it, Jinx using the firelights as cover to bring in her own um her own bombs her own devices and then having them like oh, geez how many seconds were these bombs going off for because like when i saw it land on the gun and it like flicked the wings to kind of show like the the face that had been drawn in by um by jinx here it, it really truly felt like it was a good like it was it was like a good like 10 seconds of different explosions happening might have been more yeah it's kind of looking like it was more because it kept on going because like one would trigger the next would trigger the next and so on and so forth and sometimes it was kind of like a bag of popcorn where like some of them were all popping at different times and it just kept on exploding everywhere and I like as you guys saw, like I was like, why is Keaton stop? Stop the explosions, it's too much. And <laughs> obviously that caused like just all the mayhem, all the chaos, just like bodies everywhere, many people dying or dead, and a lot of others injured, like geez, poor poor Caitlin and Vi are just getting run through with all of this just getting their shit rocked at regular intervals and jinx going through and like finishing them off the way that she was like oh was so messed up um but then like the epic scene of echo versus jinx to save to save vi and caitlin here like 
tragic scene, I will say. Like, the animation and the music, phenomenal. But them kind of, like, showing that, like, as kids, they were friends. They were buddies. They would do this as, like, a game on a regular basis. And uh, it seemed like most of the time she would win. She would manage to hit him with a shot. And... Uh, it would it would end for them like that would be the game right there but this time around it was almost like he knew what to do he had learned he had predicted uh the every move and so we see him actually manage to get in a very good hit on her and i i i will say right now i did not expect to get that emotional but like these are these are two kids. These are two kids in the worst of circumstances who ended up on different sides of a drawn battle line. And the fear in Jinx's eyes, the regret happening inside of Echo's head, like the, the sadness. And yet she gives this like little smile to basically say like I still won because I gave here's here's my explosive and I I have no idea if either of them truly survived because you know she uh, Jinx is laying there in a heap can't even tell if she's breathing doesn't it barely looks like it and then like the clock just stuck in time I, I i have a feeling like that right there is indicative of time has run out for our our man echo and unfortunately he is not going to be with us anymore which would suck so much because it was so nice to get him back and now he's gone maybe i'm being cautiously pessimistic <laughs> so that i don't get hurt again but um, I guess we'll find out in the next episode. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below what I missed, if there was any theories that you have or anything that you wanted to comment on in terms of what I just talked about there. But in the meantime, make sure to like and subscribe so you do not miss out on anything. Thank you so much for all your incredible support. But class, you are officially dismissed. I will see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.